Hey everyone, today I have a lower body stack pyramid workout for you and we are shooting it in my new apartment. Um, I haven't finished decorating yet, so bear with me. This workout is gonna be the first in a series I post using this same structure. We got lower body today, I'm gonna do upper body, core, and I'll also do a total body one. This is how it works. We build up to a sequence of six exercises. Round one is just exercise one and then you rest. Round two is exercise one plus exercise two, then rest. Round three, exercise one, exercise two, exercise three, rest, and so on, building up to a round of six exercises. The rest interval is gonna be 30 seconds. The time spent on each exercise is gonna be 35 seconds. Those extra five seconds are just to account for transition time so that if you do have to get up or down from the floor or grab equipment, um, you still don't miss out on a full 30 seconds of reps. For equipment, you are going to need a resistance band loop. It's gonna go a couple inches above your knees, so I would go medium to maybe even a heavy weight with that and you're also going to need a set of dumbbells. I'm gonna recommend a set somewhere between medium up to heavy, okay, depending on your fitness level. I only have access to a set of 10 pound dumbbells, so that's the weight I'm going with today, but if I had more to choose from, I would try to challenge myself with something more closer to like 15 pound weights. That being said, if you are gonna challenge yourself and go heavier, I would have a set of drop weights that are a few pounds lighter so that as we get to those later rounds, if you do have to drop down so that you don't sacrifice form, that is an option. As with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand and always listen to your body, modifying or stopping as needed. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever you like. Uh, so you might wanna get a TV show or a playlist queued up. And with all that said, I'm gonna get to a preview of the first exercise. And when we do that 30 second rest interval, that's when I'll give you a preview of the upcoming exercise. I'll show you how to modify, but for most of these exercises, your best way to modify is use lighter weights or no weights at all, and you can always ditch the resistance band and that'll make it a little easier as well. Okay, let's get to it. All right, we are gonna start with squats with a pulse at the bottom. Band is a couple inches above your knees. We're gonna rack those weights at our shoulders. If two weights gets to be too heavy at any point, you can always drop down to one and just hold it at your chest. So you are lowering down weight in the heels, add one pulse at the bottom, and then stand to the top. So the band is gonna help us activate through the glutes. So you're pushing out against the resistance throughout this range of motion. Knees are tracking in line with your middle to outer toes. I want you to think of starting the movement with the hip hinge. So your hips slide back, weight in the heels, core is in tight, but you reach your tailbone long, chest stays open. Final few seconds here. Okay, you get 30 seconds to rest. So round two coming up, we're gonna start at the top, okay? So you always start with that squat and the pulse at the bottom. We will add on that lateral step afterwards. So round one and even this round two, not so bad, pretty quick. You almost get as much rest time as working time. Gonna get a little harder as we go on. So just showing you the side angle here, notice I'm starting the backward movements, hips slide back, knees bend, but my knees aren't jutting out super far forward, okay? They're staying right around over the toes. As you lift up out of the squat, finish it by squeezing your seat and bringing the hips forward as you stand. Don't hyperextend through the back though, so you have to counter that by also bracing through the core. Okay, drop those weights. Two lateral steps, one squat jump. So stay low, step, step, and then squat jump. Land softly, step, step, squat jump. So when I say soft landing, I mean after you're in the air, you land sinking right back down into that squat position. Uh, you're not landing on straight legs. You want to stay really low as you do that lateral step and push against the band. Still try to keep those knees tracking in line with your middle toes. Last few seconds. Rest while I show you exercise three.
Round three, we're gonna start at the top. So this will be your third round of squats with that pulse at the bottom. If your form is starting to get sloppy, drop down to lighter weights or just use one weight. 35 seconds here. Lower, one pulse at the bottom, drive it up. Now with this third exercise we're gonna tack on at the end, just a heads up, you're gonna be focusing on your left side, okay? You'll mirror me, just a heads up. 20 more seconds to go in the squat with a pulse though. Hips slide down and back, weight in the heels as you drive up, squeeze through your seat, so squeeze your butt for me, hips come forward, abs in tight. So at the top of this, you should look like you're in a standing plank. Drop those weights. We're going into those two lateral steps with a squat jump. So again, the reason we're doing 35 seconds a piece is so that it, we account for transition time. So even if you have to drop the weights or switch up body position, um, you will, should still get a solid 30 seconds of work. I don't care so much about how many reps you get in on this one. I want the jumps to be explosive. I care about quality over quantity always. So yes, we want to move continuously during the work intervals, um, but I want you to think power on this one versus speed. Okay, you're going to come to the floor. Your left forearm is down. I want you to mirror me, okay? Left forearm is down. Weight comes to your top right hip. Your left knee stays on the floor. As you lift the hips up into that kneeling side plank, you're going to open up that right knee. So it's a clamshell as we lift the hip up. So both sides are working, but the focus is that bottom left glute, okay? Or glutes plural, you have more than one. <laughs> so you squeeze that left butt cheek as you drive the hips up. Stay strong through that left shoulder. And if this is too much, just drop the weight. Notice my feet are staying together, knee just lifts up. And rest. I'll show you the fourth exercise. Okay, round number four. They're starting to get a little longer, a little harder, but as always, we start at the top with the squat plus the pulse. If these are getting to be too heavy, again, you can drop down and wait. If you're feeling good though, like you're kind of running on autopilot, maybe you even try to ramp up the weight instead. So you know where we're going. We got the three moves we've already done before, and then we're going to tag on that donkey hop, hop, kick. Um, when we do the clamshell this time, you'll be isolating your right side. So we switch sides. Ten more seconds here. Get ready to drop those weights. Don't take more than five seconds to transition into that lateral step with that squat jump. Okay, so the burn should really start to be building up in these. You are staying low as you step two big steps to the side, powerful squat jump land. If this is bothering your knees or it's too much, take out the jump and just stand. So it'd be a regular squat and then those two side steps. Now I want you to make sure that that resistance band isn't causing your knees to buckle inward. So think of almost spiraling the thighs open, really squeeze through your seat, knees are tracking in line with your middle toes. Last few seconds here, we're gonna make our way down to the floor. Grab a weight if you are choosing to use it. We have that clamshell hip lift, this time right forearm down, so mirror me. Right forearm down, weight to your left hip, right knee is down like a kickstand. As you lift the hips, you rotate open through them, so that left knee lifts and opens, focusing on our bottom right side though. So make a fist with that right butt cheek as you drive your hips up, and I want you to pause at the top, okay? So drive the hips up, really squeeze, 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 hold, and then with control, lower down. Coming up at the beeps, you are going to ditch that weight. We find a hovering tabletop position, so a bear plank position. Hands stacked under shoulders. Tuck your toes. Knees are under hips. From here, two little hops, and then one big donkey kick, bringing your heels in towards your bum. So we're burning out the quads on this one. The resistance band isn't doing a ton of work, but I do want you to focus on trying to keep those knees about hips width apart, especially when you're doing the hops. Now, you're also going to feel your shoulders start to talk to you on this one. This is really a total body exercise. Um, the purpose is to burn out the quads, yes, but also to get that heart rate up a little bit. So try to stay continuous throughout it. Last couple seconds. Oop, I'm struggling. And rest. I will show you exercise number five now.
These last two rounds are going to be the toughest, but you got it. We're going to start at the top with the squat and pulse. When we get to those single-sided exercise, the clamshell, and then that single leg deadlift I showed you, we're going to be isolating the left side, okay? Heads up. So take note, how are you feeling in this squat plus pulse? This is now the fifth time you have done this exercise. Um, if it's feeling easy, you amp up the weights. If it is feeling too much and your uh, form is getting sloppy, I want you to ditch one of the weights or maybe even ditch both. Your goal, continuous movement throughout the chunk of work, okay? The length of time we spend working is getting longer and longer, but you got this. Coming up at the beeps, we ditch those weights. All right, two side steps, one squat jump. And again, don't worry so much about speed on this. I don't care how many reps you get in, but I want you to make those squat jumps explosive if you are adding them in. Keep tension on that resistance band loop throughout the exercise. So notice as I do that side step, my knees are never touching. Yes, I do step narrow before stepping out wide, um, but the knees are still about hips width apart. There is still tension on that resistance band. Whoop, coming to the floor. Okay, left side's the focus. Mirror me. Put your left forearm down, weight on that top right hip, left knees down like a kickstand. You drive the hips up, squeeze into the seat. Good, lower down. Same deal as I was talking about with those squat and the pulse. If these are feeling easy, I want you to ramp up the weight for this last time through them on this side. Um, and if they're feeling like too much, you ditch the weight. Squeeze into that left butt cheek, pause at the top, lower down. Try not to hang out at the bottom, okay? So you're not resting your hips on the floor. You're just kind of bringing them down, light tap or a hover, and then drive them up. Put the weight away. We're coming into that donkey hop. Whoo, this one is tough for me. I don't know about you guys. So find that tabletop position. Tuck your toes. Two little hops. And then one big explosive donkey kick. Hop, hop, kick up. So the focus of this one as far as lower body goes, it's a little quad burnout. So you're going to start to feel the tops of the thighs light up. I want you to also feel your shoulders working on this. And your goal is to get the heart rate up a little bit. So keep it going. Hop, hop, kick. Last few seconds, you can do it. Oh, I always struggle right at the end of this one. Okay, we're gonna stand it up. We have that single leg deadlift. Focus is your left leg, left leg, okay? It'll be my right, but your left. So step your left foot forward and the ball of the right foot is behind you slightly for the deadlift hinge. And then you step that right foot back for your back lunge. So in between the hinge and that back lunge, um, you are really driving the hips forward, completing the movement just like we did in the squat. So you squeeze into the seat, hips, hips come forward, abs in tight. If two weights is too much, drop down to one weight. Oh, you got to rest, never mind. <laughs> Okay, final round, longest round yet. You got this last time you're going to see all these exercises. Squat and pulse to start. You should be a pro at these by now. Do not start getting sloppy though, okay? You can always go lighter with the weight or slow it down. Now, when we hit those single leg exercises, your right side is going to be the focus. And our final exercise that I just demoed will be that explosive star jack. It's going to be hard, but we only have to do it once. That is the good news. Try to get in a few more reps in this squat and pulse. Ditch those weights, two side steps, one squat jump, let's go. So again, you don't want to take more than five seconds to transition between these exercises. The, it, the focus or the goal of this is continuous movement and the length of that continuous movement get, gets longer and longer as we go. Can we make those squat jumps a little more explosive? How much air can you get? Drive off those heels, land softly or back down low. Step, step, explosive jump up. Get ready to isolate your right side. Coming down to the floor for those clamshell hip lifts, mirror me. Your right forearm is on the floor. 
We lift those hips up, squeezing into the right butt cheek, push against that resistance band loop, hinge open through the hips. So my feet are staying together. Think of opening up through that top knee. Pause, squeeze at the top, lower down with control. 10 seconds to go. We're officially halfway through this round. You got it. Three moves to go. Donkey, hop, hop, kick. So find that tabletop position. Two little hops, one big donkey kick. Land in the hover. Keep it up. You have under 15 seconds. You got this. Can you get through these last few reps without resting your knees on the floor? Almost there. Final few seconds. Oh, I'm struggling. Stay with me. Oh, okay. Grab those weights. We're going to isolate the right leg, okay? You're right. It'll be my left, but just right, right, right. So right foot forward, left foot back. One single leg deadlift. Squeeze the seat at the top. Step your left foot back into that back lunge. Hinge, right side's the focus. That left foot is so light. And then step that left foot back. So when you do the hinge, think long spine, chest stays lifted, and we're not rounding the shoulders. So kind of slide the shoulder blades down your back, activating through the lats. Core is tight, abs in towards your spine. Final few seconds. Okay, star jacks. So it's a squat jack, and then you jump up, expanding out, pushing against that resistance band loop. So hop your feet wide, narrow, big explosive jump up. Try to land softly. So these are explosive. Your legs should be on fire here. Last 20 seconds of this workout, though. I want you to try to continuously move right to the end. If you have to slow down a little, I get it. Do not stop, though. Whoa, I'm struggling. You can see it in my facial expressions. Last few seconds. We got this. Don't quit. Right till you hear those beeps. Give me one more really good rep. And done. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next week with another one of these workouts.